back with details this week, this time looking at Kilimanjaro Safari and a couple of hidden things located in its queue. But first, we're going to start in the wider Africa area of this Zeno Kingdom. As you may have noticed, there are these posters scattered throughout the land. And these posters sometimes refer to artificial or fake uh, businesses as though this were a thriving uh, city of Harambe. And pay attention to this one when you see it. You'll see it in multiple places around Africa, this kind of yellow and orange balloon uh, with the name Kinga at the top of it. Obviously, they're selling balloon rides over the savannah. It turns out that the balloon they're using for these ads, or at least a prop representing that balloon, can be found in the queue of Kilimanjaro Safari itself. Look up in the rafters, and you'll see that there are, uh, there is this balloon um, basket as well as the yellow and orange balloon in the rafters as though it's an actual place. It's one of the things that ties the land together. Now back to those posters scattered throughout the land. One of the things you'll find is Captain Bob, and Captain Bob is said to be a, a representation of the Imagineer Joe Rohde, the guy who was the creative director for all of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Joe has publicly denied that, however, uh, but uh, it's possible he's just being modest. It certainly does look a lot like Joe Rohde. One thing he's going to have a harder time being modest about are these other signs, also scattered throughout the land in multiple places, that uh, advertise this business for masks and beads with the name Joe Rohde, which makes sense when you say it out loud that it's Joe Rohde. Now, we're not going to get into too many of the hidden Mickeys in this series, but this is one of the neater ones. It's on the attraction itself, and it is a Flamingo Island. A little hard to see in this picture, perhaps, but the island itself is shaped like the familiar Mickey Mouse shape. One more sign back out in the Africa area in the, um, all those posters you see scattered around. And this one refers to poaching. And this is the consistent storyline of Harambe and the Africa area in, in general, that there are poachers in the area and we need to be cautious of them. This has to do with uh, setting up an expectation before guests go on Kilimanjaro Safari, which of course for many years had a storyline about poaching. And so this, uh, these posters throughout the land are a setup for uh, the storyline that no longer is there. Now, part of the poaching storyline was an emphasis on Warden Wilson Mutua, and we still see him here in the queue for the attraction. And uh, he's still a presence on the attraction now, but uh, not nearly in the same way he was before. Now, his uh, audio counterpart on the attraction, those older versions of it when it was poaching, is Dr. Katherine Jobson, who is still to be found in the queue video, although she's not in the attraction itself anymore. The storyline during the poaching had to do with Big Red and her calf, Little Red. And in very early days, uh, Big Red herself was um, said to be captured and killed by the poachers, and we got to see a, a carcass on the side of the road. That was removed somewhat quickly in the attraction's history. Little Red, however, stayed with the attraction for many years and was the person that we, the, the animal that we rescued by the end of the attraction, uh, poking out of that truck. And it's now been replaced with a different animal enclosure at the end. It's why there's still those broken gates just before the animal enclosure as if we're leaving the preserve and going off chasing the, the poachers. Uh, the Little Red and Big Red mention is still there, however, in the attraction queue, and this is in one of the little rooms you pass through, uh, even though Big Red and Little Red are no longer part of the attraction itself. 